what if I told you this image right here, this is the before and this is the after, was not edited using Photoshop? You don't believe me? Pay close attention. So I use a software called Evoto AI. Let me just reset everything I did so I can walk you through the step by step process on how I got results using this software. With this Evoto AI software, you can get high end retouching in less time. So the first you have to do is bring your image into this Evoto AI software. So you can just come to your home and just click on create project and just name your project any name you want. I'm going to rename this one Tillens and click on save. And for me, it's going to show you to import image or import folder. So I'm going to import just one image. I'll click on import image. And this is the image right here. I'm going to click on it and just click on open. Now this software is really easy to use. You can see it has automatically detected the kind of image you have. So it's a portrait image and it's a female. It has detected it with the help of the AI. And from here, you can just click on this blemishes remover right here because we want to remove the blemishes on the face right now. So just click on Fuiko or Acne and just move this slider. All you have to do is move this slider right here and it's just going to remove the blemishes for you just like that. Now you can do the same thing for the body. So just click on body blemishes remover like that. Okay. Now you can also click on this face shine. So this shines on the face. If you just click on this face shine, you're just going to remove those shine on the face like that. All right. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to scroll all the way down. So you can see that different option right here. So if your image has any of these defects, you can just move a slider to fix it. So I'm going to click on this dark circle to fix the circles under the eyes. I'm just going to move it up a little bit like this. All right. Now I'm just going to go down to skin retouching. So under the skin retouching, we have this face smoothing dodge and burn. So you can actually do your dodge and burn with this Evoto AI. So I'm just going to move this dodge and burn slider up like this. And just going to do my dodger bone by just moving this slider all right so you can see the image is looking really really good so let's see what we started from my where we are right now so this is the before and this is the after now there's a new feature inside this evoto ai so if i just zoom right here on the forehead you can see there are some blemishes right here which we miss so to fix that all you have to do is click on the heli tool right here so this is a new tool Evoto AI introduced to their software and it's really, really amazing. So just like in Photoshop, we have the spot healing brush tool, we have the patch tool and we have the close thumb tool right here. So I want to remove the blemishes on the forehead, which I missed when I was just moving the slider. So just click on the blemishes and just going to remove it just like that. And not just for the blemishes, you can also do the straight hair. So if I just click on this hair right here. I just click on it, it's just going to remove that straight hair. And also the patch tool works like Photoshop. So just pick your patch tool and just circle from any parts you want to replace and just move it to a place you want to patch like that. And also for the close thumb tool, the same thing, hold alternate to sample from a close by area. And you can use a square bracket key to increase and decrease your brush size according to the part of the image you are actually working on. So I'm just going to decrease my brush size I just sample from a close by area like this and just paint over those blemishes I want to remove like that and just going to remove them. So you can go manual or you can go with the AI. The choice is yours. So I'm going to click on OK right now. I'm just going to process as you can see. So after it has finished processing, we are back to the portrait retouching. All right. Now I'm just going to cut my face smoothing. So if you want to smoothen out the face, just click on face smoothing and just smoothen that like that. And also click on body smoothing as well to smoothen out the neck. Right? Because this face smoothing only affects the face. Why this body smoothing affects from the neck downwards like that. Alright? Now next time I'm going to do, I'm just going to click on this unify complexion right here to just unify the color of the skin like that. So like this works for me. Now if I just scroll all the way down. I'm going to see eyes right here. So I'm going to click on brighten. So I just want to brighten the eyes to make it a little bit white like that. And from here, you have variety of skin color. So you can choose any skin color you want for your image. So I think I'm just going to click on this dark skin right here because this is the skin color I'm going for and just reduce the amount to about um, 18 or 16. So 16 works for me. So this is the before we started from and where we are right now. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to color grade this image. 
and Evoto AI has some amazing color grading features just like in Photoshop and they are really easy to use. So just come to your color tab right here, just click on it. So we have two options right here. You can see this place right here that says real time color adjustment. So if you want to see your color adjustment in real time, meaning as you are doing it, you are going to be seeing the effect. Just make sure this real time color adjustment is turned on. The only downside is that it's going to bring back all the blemishes you remove. So if I just move it right now, you can see it's I'm seeing what I'm doing in real time. So if I just turn off this real time color adjustment and I just make any adjustment, I'm not going to see the effect until after it has finished processing. That's when I'm going to see the effect. So I advise you always turn on this real time color adjustment. All right. Now I'm just going to color grade this image right now. So I'm going to take down the highlights a little bit. I'm going to open up the shadow a little bit like that. I'm going to take down the blacks. Now this I'm going to do, I'll come to my HSL slider right here. And for my HSL, I'm just going to come to my saturation and just reduce the saturation of the reds. Reduce the saturation of the oranges like that. And just come to my hue. And just move the hue of the reds towards the orange side a little bit. And move the hue of the orange towards the yellow side a little bit. And move the hue of the yellow towards the orange side a little bit like that so you have different options right here but since i'm working on skin tone that's why i'm targeting the skin tone because skin tone consists of red oranges and yellows now next i'm going to do i'm going to come to my luminous just click on luminous so for this luminous if you want to increase the brightness of your particular color that's when this luminous comes in so if i just increase the slider of the reds it's just going to make the reds brighter so it's just going to make the reds bright so i'm going to take the reds down a little bit like so okay now i'm just going to close the hsl that's all i'll be doing for the hsl slider now we also have color grading so if you want to add a specific color to the highlight shadow and me too you can do that right here then i'll come to my curves adjustment right here now this curve adjustment is a new feature that able to just added so i'm just going to come to my um brightness right here which is this white and just create an s curve to add contrast to this image Okay, so I'm going to put a slider right here and put another slider right here and also put another slider right here and just take this slider down like this and take this mid tones up like this and take this one down a little bit like this just to create an S curves. So I like it like this. So after color grading this image, I'm just going to click on my retouch right here. I'm just going to bring it back to my retouch page. And if I zoom in, you can see there are some blemishes right here. So I'm going to remove that blemish by clicking on my healing tool right here. Once I pick up my healing tool, my spotting brush is going to be selected. And I'm just going to brush over those blemishes just to remove them like that. And I'll click on OK. Now let me just show you where we started from and where we are right now. So this is the before and the after. The before and the after. Wow, this is amazing. And that's not all. You can actually save your preset and apply it to other image. So just click on save preset right here. And I'm just going to name this preset test and click on save. And that's not all you can do with this software. You can actually change your backdrop and actually clean your backdrop. So just come to your backdrop right here. And just click on any backdrop you want to change it to. So just click on it. I just going to automatically change your backdrop for you so just choose any one you want and not just the input one you can actually bring your own backdrop by importing any backdrop you want to add to your image from this place and also you can clean backdrop right here so let me just reset it and just come to clean backdrop if i click clean backdrop it's just going to detect the backdrop and just going to clean the backdrop automatically wow so let me just zoom in so you can see the effects on the backdrop so this is the before and the after the before and the after this is amazing and that's not all you can do with this ai you can actually use this ai to remove wrinkles from your dress and just make your dress straight so just come to this close touch up right here once you click on it just click on the wrinkle clothing and just move this slider up like this i'm just going to process and make your clothes smooth so this is the before and the after the before and the after just look at the clothes you can see how smooth they are looking right now so the before and the after the before and the after i will leave the link where you can download this evoto ai software in the show below and if you use that link you are going to get 30 full credits that means you'll be able to edit 30 images and evoto ai works with credit let's say you purchase 1000 credits 
that means you are going to be able to edit 1000 images and if you want to back edit just go to this website showing your screen right now and just purchase any one that works for you click on this video show right here to watch high and scale touching from start to finish i'll see you guys in my next one stay creative